At 74 years old, a Tascadero resident, Jane Johnson, has won a bronze medal, set two world records, and for the last 50 years, helped train and mold the next generation of pole vaulters. I'm Dylan Foreman, covering your community in Atascadero, where I sat down with the local pole vaulting legend about his impact on the sport. One, two, three, four, shift, take off. That's how a former Olympic pole vaulter takes off, jumping since he was 10 years old in the south side of Chicago. Started uh, jumping hay bales, seriously, with a pitchfork. After becoming a three-time NCAA champion at the University of Alabama, Johnson qualified for the Olympics in Munich, Germany, where upon his arrival to Europe, he learned that his poles, which had fiberglass, were banned, forcing him to use shorter poles than the ones he had been using. Despite the setback, he finished with a bronze medal with a jump, clearing 17 feet, 5 inches. Frankly, I'm proud of two things. First thing uh, was the highest I'd ever jumped from that short of a run on that little of a pole. And I was very lucky uh, to medal because two of the other really good guys were hurt. But that's not the worst thing that happened at my Olympics, not by a long shot. On September 5th, 1972, the Munich massacre in the Olympic Village occurred when eight members of the Palestinian militant organization Black September killed 11 members of the Israeli Olympic team. Johnson was right near it all. Gunshots in the morning about 4 o'clock a.m., still dark outside, and uh, something was going on. While his Olympic experience still doesn't sit well with him, it's his impact on the sport after he stopped competing in 1975 that he looks back on proudly. The easy question is, what are you most proud of in the sport of pole vaulting? <laughs> My influence on people, no question. Johnson is the founder of Sky Jumpers Vertical Sports Club out of Atascadero, where for the past 50 years in his backyard, campers from all over the Central Coast they're the art of pole vaulting. His location and his uh, help up there uh, been a place to go to, sky jumpers. Just go out there and change the mindset, the dynamic of the whole sport, really important. And over that 50 years, Johnson says the sport has gotten better thanks to the improvements in equipment and safer thanks to changes that he helped implement with the poles and the size of the pit. Gotten better and better and better and better and better so that people aren't breaking poles so much in today's world. The current world record holder and two-time gold medal Olympian Armando Duplantis, who just beat his own world record Tuesday in Paris, Johnson coached his father, Greg Duplantis, when he was at LSU. Dylan Foreman, KSBY News.